Tribit is definitely a classic favourite for many people and they have proven time and again that they know what they're doing when it comes to earbuds. Today we're taking a look at a pretty cool design earbuds from Tribit and to see if these are any good. Welcome to a review of the Tribit Flybuds C1. Hello, my name is Sean and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I do a lot of tech reviews as well as unboxing and if that is something that interests you, do consider subscribing to this channel, leave a thumbs up on this video as well as share this video to all your friends around. And with that said, let's get on with the review of the Tribit Flybuds C1. So these earbuds are graciously sent to me by Tribit for review and although these were sent out to me, I will still be providing my honest opinion so you know what you're getting into before buying these earbuds. The Tribit C1 retails for about US 70 and that is about 299 Malaysia Ringgit. So these are not priced at a budget earbuds price but somewhere around the mid-tier earbuds price point. Conveniently with almost the same spec but at a cheaper price is the Soundpeed Sonic. So let's see which of these is a better option. So if you're interested in getting these earbuds, do check out some of my links in the description below and it'll definitely help out the channel a lot. So the C1 is designed like most TWS earbuds you'll find in the market and the case itself is very similar to what you get with the likes of Oki or Halo. But I will say that the C1 is not made with cheap materials because it comes with a super nice rubberized plastic finish that gives the earbuds a very nice grip when you hold them in your hands. And this sort of material also means that it doesn't get scuffed up easily like how Halo or Oki does. At the top of the earbuds, you get the nice Tribit logo in a gloss black finish, exactly in the type of style and finish that I really like. And at the bottom of the case, you get a nice USB-C charging port. And when you plug it in, the four LEDs in the front will tell you the amount of battery left inside the case. Very convenient and very practical. And Tribit also gives you a simple button in the front of the case where you can press and it immediately tells you the amount of battery you have inside the case. So the lid opening action of the C1 is also really smooth but when it reaches the top it doesn't hold itself open for you to access the earbuds and really I wish that the lid would hold on to itself a little bit more because these are the little things that actually gives a nice experience to the earbuds. And the earbuds itself is designed with the airport style type of ear tips and in my opinion these are the most comfortable type of ear tips at least for my ear and I truly think that Apple nails it with the shape of it. Fortunately most companies are following suit because this is absolutely nice. And at the front of the earbuds you get a very nice design which gives the earbuds a kind of steampunk era look and it would be really nice if this orange piece here inside would actually glow uh, but unfortunately it's not really doing anything. And the stem itself you get a smoke black glossy plastic which is really nice and the earbuds itself is controlled with a button on the side here uh, which kind of mimics the squeeze action of the airpods pro but this one is with a physical button and since the c1 runs the latest qualcomm 3040 chipset and it's the same as what you'll get with the soundpeed sonic the tribute c1 gives you a super respectable 12 hours of battery life and together with the case gives you 50 extra hours of playback time contrasting it to the sonic with the same chipset the sonic gives you a longer 15 hours of playback time but has a smaller case that only gives you additional 35 hours of playback time the earbuds takes about one and a half hours and the case takes about two hours to fully charge so spec wise, you'll be getting Qualcomm's QCC3040 chipset that gives you support for aptX, AAC and SBC audio codec which is the pinnacle of what you get in the mid-tier earbuds and a mid-tier chipset. Similar to the Sonic, the earbuds also comes with an IPX5 water resistant rating which is plenty sufficient for your active lifestyle and should protect you from sweat and most of the elements out there. The C1 also comes with a super seamless mono and stereo mode so it does provide you with a very seamless experience when you put either side of the earbuds back into the case and as much as I like earbuds with in-ear sensors sometimes it does get in the way when you don't need it to work and I, I quite like that seamless feeling you get with earbuds without sensors. Lastly these earbuds don't come with multi-point support so no luck connecting more than one device at the same time. The sound signature of the C1 is really quite solid providing you with good coverage across the range. 
Having good bass emphasis as well as sounding bright enough for music to sound exceptionally nice. The bass performance of the C1 is very solid and rumbling. It's especially good when you blast these earbuds, and if you're a bass head, you'll definitely find these earbuds super satisfying. I like how Tribit tuned these earbuds. Even though the bass on these are rumbling, the mids, highs, and vocals are all not sacrificed, very well executed. Soundstage on these are not the widest, and since these run a pretty small 6mm PU composite diaphragm, they don't give you that open feeling, however the sound separation on these are fantastic. So songs with lots of instruments are clearly separated and watching movies on these are also super enjoyable. The C1 is also a very solid earbuds when it comes to call quality and I especially think that the new 3040 chipset plays a big part in this. Call quality is stable and clear in any situation and it also does a good job with lowering down at noisy environments. Really good stuff. Anyways, let's take a listen to the call quality test of these earbuds. So this is a test to see if the Tribit Flybud C1 is a good earbud for making phone calls. So this is me speaking in a relatively quiet environment and this is the call quality that you can expect. So what I'm going to do now is to turn on a simulated background noise so you can hear the difference. So now there's a simulated background noise playing in the background and this is the call quality that you can expect from these earbuds. So what do you think of the call quality? Let me know in the comment section down below. So latency control on the C2 is also really nice, giving you very good performance for movies and videos. Gaming is also really nice with casual gaming. You don't generally detect lag unless you really go look for it. Of course, there are no Bluetooth devices today with absolutely zero latency, but if you're using them casually, these are pretty much enjoyable. Anyways, let's take a look at the latency performance of these earbuds. So this is a test to see whether or not these earphones actually have a latency problem. So what I'm going to do now is clap into the microphone and you should be able to tell. So here we go. And if you see the hands not synchronized with the sound, then you will know that these earphones actually have a latency problem. So Tribit also nails it when it comes to the control of the C1 and provides you with a complete set of controls for all your media needs. To increase the volume, press and hold on the right earbuds and it will slowly increase the volume. And to decrease the volume, press and hold on the left earbuds and it will decrease the volume. To play or pause media or pick a phone call, simply press once on either side of the earbuds and it will play or pause your media. And to skip tracks forwards, press two times on your right earbuds and it will skip forward and press two times on the left earbuds and it will skip backwards. And lastly, to call your assistant, press three times on either side of the earbuds and it will pause your media and pull out your assistant. So that's basically all of the controls you get with the 3-bit Flybuds C1. And ultimately, it's nice to see earbuds companies starting to adopt the latest Bluetooth 5.2 standard, improving the battery life significantly. Personally, I think that this and the Sonic are both really good buys and you'll be happy with either one of them. And now it's down to which design you prefer. And for me, I'll say that the C1 fits me a lot better, albeit a little bit more expensive. So that is it for this review. If you find this video helpful, smash that thumbs up button, share this video everywhere. And if you haven't yet subscribed, do consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.